Hey, we're finally back with some mini messages. It's been a while. Uh, we had planned to, to take a little break there for uh, the holidays, but then due to some illness, we extended that break for a little bit. But we're all back in the swing now, and so we're going to pick back up in the book of Genesis for our mini message today. And it's going to be in chapter 37, and I want to look at verses 5 through 8. Uh, if you need to refresh, just go back to the last one and you can uh, catch up with us real quick. We just looked at the first four verses last time. But this is a story of Joseph. And so Joseph has a dream. And Joseph isn't really wise with how he handles his dream. So let's look at verse 5. It says, Joseph had a dream. And when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. He said to them, listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out of the field when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. His brother said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said. Now remember, this is the most dysfunctional family on the planet. These people cannot get along with each other. There is rampant jealousy amongst the generations. Going back to um, Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. Okay, there is problems and so it's continuing along. Joseph's brothers were insanely jealous of him because Jacob wrongly showed really, really great favoritism towards Joseph. Joseph was the son of the wife that he loved. He was the son of Rachel. Rachel has passed, and now here he is. He desperately wants to hold on to this son from his wife, and it does nothing but cause division in the family. And then Joseph has this dream. So God communicates with Joseph through dreams multiple times throughout the rest of the book of Genesis. Joseph also is given by God the ability to interpret dreams as well. So dreams and visions are a major part of Joseph's relationship with God, and that's true for some people. It's you know I, I still think that today there are times where God communicates with us through dreams, especially. You know I, I've had one time when I really feel like God spoke to me in that fashion, and so you know can I can I say it's something that happens all the time? No, but I, I personally can say I I really really feel like that God spoke to me in that way. So I understand it, but Joseph wasn't really wise in how he handled this. He showed a lack of um, tact and wisdom. Remember, he's a young guy. He's not experienced. And so whether it was harmless or even on purpose, it was a bad decision. Whether he meant to do this or not, whether he was trying to alienate his brothers, I mean, he had to know that they were jealous of him and that they didn't like him. So was this him getting back at him or not? I can't say for sure. In my heart, I want to think this is just him innocently saying, here's what God showed me. But even then, he should have shown a little more restraint, as we'll see further. So the brothers, too, understood the meaning of this, that one day Joseph would reign over them. Now, the last thing that's really interesting about this is the imagery in the dream. It's sheaves of wheat as they're gathering a harvest, and the brothers' sheaves bow down. When much later on in this story, when Joseph's brothers will come to him and bow down to him when he's in Egypt, it will be because of food. So I think God here is not just foreshadowing the family position, He's foreshadowing what will bring about this family position. And it does nothing but infuriate the brothers. And we'll see how much uh, matter they can get tomorrow. Have a good day.